for Emmanuel. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit this week about communication styles because my communication style has definitely changed over the years. Um, when I was a little child, um, elementary school age, and probably up through middle school, um, maybe even into high school, I was uh, the little kid who would uh, had no like mouth filter, <laughs> and you know, like the kid who would tell all their mom's embarrassing secrets as loud as possible uh, to everyone without understanding why mom might want some secrets uh, or telling everyone how old their mom was. That was me, my poor mom. Sorry, mom, but uh, my mom. Yeah, she she was wonderful about that. <laughs> Thanks, um, and so. Ah, my computer is sliding. <laughs> that you know changed at some point, and I grew out of that. But even you know into my teens, especially, uh, and into early adulthood, I still, I guess maybe a good way to describe it would be had a blunt, very blunt, or I, I rather say a very honest, but you know kind of blunt and sometimes even harsh uh, com like way of speaking to people and uh, I had a very, uh, I could often be very blunt and very harsh when um, delivering criticism or you know just very honest uh, and I didn't realize that that level of honesty can really hurt people sometimes and I didn't realize that some people were a little bit more sensitive than I was. And actually, you know, if I think back on it, I probably wouldn't have appreciated being spoken to the way I spoke to people back then. Um, but I just had no idea for a while. Um, and fortunately for me, uh, along the way, I was very lucky and I encountered mentors often at work and in the workplace and you know in real life too you know in, the, in, in my day-to-day -day life you know I encountered people who were good enough to point out to me in a constructive way when I said something that might be misunderstood uh, or mistaken by somebody uh, because until I had someone there helping me and pointing out these things to me I really just had no idea. No idea at all. So I'm really grateful to have had, you know, those mentors. And a lot of it was in the workplace. And I've, I guess maybe part of it's for my not liking being told what to do. I've always kind of gravitated towards, like, management in the workplace. And I, they, they want managers to be able to deal with uh, their teams in a certain way. And it was very, and I guess like it was almost just like, um, I was just determined to get there, you know, at work. And I had to take a lot of classes and learn from, you know, just from, from quite a few mentors, like how to speak to people in a better way, <laughs> because you can't berate your coworkers and your employees. Um, and... I had to learn to soften my speech a little bit and to learn when, you know, sometimes it's better to keep something to yourself because I was very bad at that for a long time too. Um, and, you know, at first I was just like, oh, why should I have to change, you know, my communication style? They just shouldn't be so sensitive is how I was. I, but as, as I've grown older, I've realized that I really don't want to hurt anyone's feelings anyway, and because I wasn't intentionally trying to, you know, be nasty, um, and learning to soften my communication style, and learning to, um, you know, understand that other people have different communication styles, 
uh, and just kind of learning about other communication styles and it, you know, has helped me uh, to communicate better. And it's helped me to you know, do better in the work world and uh, with, you know, having uh, a career and, you know, in business, uh, but it's also helped me, you know, do better in life in general. Um, and, you know, I think it would just be, it's, it's just important, you know, because everyone has a different communication style uh, for us to kind of all learn and understand about the different communication styles that are out there uh, so that we can really, um, like, all <laughs> communicate better. You know, we can all find ways that we can just meet in the middle and meet each other uh, so that just everyone... Uh, has a little bit more harmony, I guess, and a little bit more understanding. And that's kind of what it takes is patience and understanding and just kind of learning about how other people communicate because this is, you know, not just an autism, autistic, non-autistic thing. This is a um, person-to-person thing. This is a country-to-country thing. This is, you know, a culture-to-culture -culture thing, a uh, language thing. This is, this is a, a big you know, issue for every human just the different communication styles because different things are appropriate even in different parts of the world autistic or not so I just wanted to make a little video and just talk about communication styles and just put some thoughts out uh, in people's heads about how you know there are you know when you're not getting your point across and just kind of think that you know you know just think about you know the person in front of you like think what's their communication style and pay attention to that when you're interacting with people and study that kind of thing and I don't it's uh, but just learning about it is can be really helpful and it's been really helpful to me and I just thought I would share uh, just my perspective on that and, uh, anyway if you like this video let me know and give me a thumbs up maybe I'll do more videos like this one uh, and if um, you enjoy my content I put out new videos every Wednesday so I will see you next week don't forget to subscribe Bye. <laughs>